What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. In this video, I want to talk about if Superman will appear in the new Batman game. Now, I promised you guys some different kinds of videos talking about different aspects of the game, and that's what I'm going to give you both today as well as, I believe, Wednesday or Thursday, the next time the uh, Batman video goes up. We're also going to be talking about the Batman film later this week as well, so a bit of Batman content uh, for those that want to enjoy it. So uh, let's talk about this. I think this is something that as time has gone on, I've become more... It, it's, it's really just an idea I had in my own mind, right? But I think as time has gone on, it's become uh, an idea that I want to happen more and more to the point where I'm talking myself into like, well, yeah, like it kind of needs to happen, right? And I know people always get after me for all that kind of stuff of overhyping myself. I think one thing to recognize or to realize about me too is I talk like this a lot. I talk like this with a lot of things. I just generally have a more upbeat personality where I talk really, really fast. I get really, really excited with whatever I'm talking about. I do do this with pretty much everything you can watch the other videos for more and I, I do want to repeat this too on a couple other videos because I think there's a common misconception with me but I think this is a really good idea and I'll tell you why if this is truly going to kick off the extended universe a DC universe a brand new universe I don't see how you don't have superheroes in it um, you could argue that they could go like a movie route where like at the end of the game you know there's like an after credit scene and in that after credit scene they say okay well we're gonna start to we're going to show something that leads into like the next game. They could. That would be pretty darn weird. I don't think they would do that, especially because Warner Bros. Montreal is only one of these studios, right? And while I guarantee you any of the studios that are making superhero games in terms of the same universe, so DC and Marvel, those two are separated, they know what each other are making. So like Warner Bros. Montreal knows what Rocksteady's making. Rocksteady knows what Warner Bros. Montreal is making. If there is a standalone Superman game, that team knows what's going on so you know i'm sure there th that is going on the question is like well they're not like going out there and like visiting each other's you know offices and stuff like that they could be uh, a lot of times that's more like publicized if they do that and because i've never seen that once in my life i just really don't think that's something that's happening so i would kind of rule that out i would rule out say let's just say this batman game ending and then having the after credit scene be some sort of scene that sets up uh whatever roxay's game is like the Justice League game, let's say. I don't really think they could go that approach. But what they could do is they could start to experiment and have, just again, have other superheroes in the universe appear. Now, again, if this is going to kick off the universe and a Batman is supposed to be younger, which we've all assumed, we've never really been told that, but we've all kind of assumed that in the timeline, which has been, I would assume, erased for the large part, I would still think Batman is around the age he is in, like, Origins, right? Maybe slightly older, but this is like pre-asylum him. Now, you could say, well, it doesn't really matter if you even give him those labels anymore because this universe may, you know, origins may never have happened. Asylum City Night may never have happened. I would say that's pretty fair. But you would still have him be relatively younger. You would need him to be younger because he would need, again, to have some direct influence or direct, like, confrontation with other superheroes, with other supervillains. And you would want to continue that. You wouldn't really have a Batman at the very end of his days look what they did with the movies right with the new movies with Ben Affleck uh, obviously that was a mistake and was it a mistake solely because they chose to make him an older more like retired kind of at the end of the line Batman well that wasn't like the only thing I don't think that necessarily helped them although it did fit in with what they were trying to do with Ben Affleck um, but you know what I mean so I think for the game purposes especially for the future of these games you would need Batman to be young and I think it is telling that he was young in Origins and obviously that was Warner Bros Montreal I think that's where they feel most comfortable from it also gives them especially and we've talked about this right and this goes into superman this goes why into how he i think should be in this game is it honestly gives them a lot of freedom in two ways one if you're younger if you're just before all these things so many different things can happen really you could probably finagle like a way in of getting as like a ton of different stuff into the game uh, to fit in between origins and asylum that you would want right now again that's not going to happen in in this way, actually, they have even more freedom because it's like, okay, well, he's young. He can be as experienced or inexperienced as you want him to be, right? Literally, the choice is up to you. He doesn't have to be a certain age, although we would prefer him younger. None of the events of, uh, you know, Asylum City Night have happened, so he could have had run-ins with these villains. He could not have had run-ins with these villains. He could have
have had run-ins with Justice League members. He could not have. He could be part of the Justice League. He could. You can make this game like the, where he's doing his own thing, but then you find out, oh, he's actually part of it, or he's been approached, or what you know, whatever story you want to tell, any of that kind of stuff. You have all of the cards in your hand, and honestly, that's a really, really amazing thing. Now you could say, will Warner Bros. Montreal mess it up? It's possible. I really hope they don't, and I don't think they will again because really they hold the key to starting the whole thing. I think I think in general, you give that the benefit of the doubt, right? The first thing in a property, you probably would give the benefit of the doubt. So while we've always been very, very critical on them, and by the way, this is only a small aspect of the game, okay? Very, very small because the game itself has to be good. It has to tell a story with Batman and the Bat family and the Court of Owls if they're still doing that and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not saying like, oh my God, it rests only on this stuff. This is a very small part. The aspect of what you can do with Batman in regards to the universe and the timeline and the other characters, it's completely up to them and it's very, very hard to mess up. The, the people that would mess it up are the people that come afterwards. But again, it's a small part. It really matters, the base game. And that's why, you know, with this idea of Superman appearing in the game, it really would only be a very, very short thing. Again, I think it would be to continue to set up the universe that, hey, these two know each other. It could be the very first time they meet. It could be that they've already met, like a couple times for like a couple years it could be that they're talking about the justice league that batman had participated that he had left i mean literally whatever they would want to do but i think it's a really good idea and again to kind of set up and we've seen this in like marvel movies right and again i understand games and movies are not the same and also dc marvel all this like they're, you know you're reaching for sure but we've never really seen something like that i think spider-man is probably a good example uh, especially recently right so we had 2018 spider-man and it very much like set up Miles is like, okay, well, we're not going to do a Miles game, but we plan on him being an integral part of this universe, so we're going to introduce him, we're going to throw him out around there, we're going to make Peter, like, his mentor, like, they're going to be, like, you know, older brother, younger brother, uh, and then you're going to play as him a little bit, and then obviously in the sequel, you'll really start to play as him, and he'll literally start to become, you know, he'll have his powers, and you'll we'll be able to do stuff like that. It's a little bit different, but it's around the same thing, where it's like, okay, again, they have freedom, and the other studios don't even need to pick up from it really right if you have superman in it and then another studio is making a superman game it doesn't necessarily need to massively connect but you're introducing the idea that superman is around that way then if there's a justice league game it's like okay well we had batman and then this is clearly afterwards or wherever they want to put in the timeline and we have these other characters and again i really do think it's a smart idea i feel like if you're going to make this universe of all these characters connecting and that's seemingly what they're going to do also voice actors stuff like that how cool would it be to see something like that where you have batman whether it's roger craig smith whether it's somebody else you have him and batman but then rocksteady is making say the justice league game and then batman appears in that but it's the same voice actor because it's the same batman and i think that would just be and you could do that with superman if you if superman is in this batman game you have him being you have some of his traits and then again you don't have to you know you don't have to completely copy it or like use it because maybe Warner Bros Montreal is using some liberties maybe the studio that's actually making Superman doesn't want to use some of the stuff but maybe they use the same voice actor just like that or maybe they use the same uh, concept of what he's going to look like right like maybe they collaborate on that I think it's honestly a really really smart idea and considering I think the biggest piece of info we can use to kind of back me up is the fact that again these rumors is like Warner Bros specifically went to Warner Bros Montreal and said you're going to start this off and how do you start it off well again I don't necessarily think you start it off just by a, a standalone single like one person kind of game now again there's going to be the Bat family all that kind of stuff but I mean I don't really think you can go through the entire game of it just being Batman even Arkham Knight obviously right introduced Lex Luthor introduced like the fact that Superman and all of them are out there like you know what I mean there were a lot of teasers into that. And I think what a lot of people thought of uh, what could come afterwards is like, okay, well, we could get a Justice League game from Rocksteady. But at this point, it's been so long. We've kind of moved on from that. We're kind of restarting everything. So, like, that kind of stuff is gone. But you could do the same kind of things here. I just think you want to take it one step further. Literally show us, introduce to us. And, and by the way, it doesn't have to be Superman. I'm kind of testing this out, see if you guys like this kind of video, and I can kind of pitch the other characters as well. But I think it's possible. I think I think it's also possible that they introduce whichever other
other game they're making. I've always said my my hypothesis, my theory is that they went back and they're doing the Wonder Woman game, and that's the second game they're working on. Uh, maybe they introduce Wonder Woman, and it's like, okay, well, maybe they're just trying to keep things very close into Warner Bros. Montreal, and they're like, okay, well, in three to four years, you guys are going to get a Wonder Woman game. We already kind of have who's going to play her. We have the actress. We have what she's going to look like, you know, things like that. So why not throw her in there, introduce her really, really briefly, right, like five minutes max, uh, and then she can come in in her own game in a few years from the same company. That makes sense. I feel like that's a whole lot more likely. The second game Warner Bros. Montreal is making, I feel like that superhero is almost a guarantee to appear in Batman, but it doesn't stop other Justice League members. It doesn't stop a Suicide Squad kind of thing, maybe just a character, a random, like a one-off character from Suicide Squad that then would coincidentally appear in Rocksteady's game. There's a lot they can do, and there's also a lot that we don't know. We don't know what Rocksteady's game is. We don't know if the Superman game is being made. We don't know uh, what the second Warner Bros. Montreal game is. We don't know if there's a third, fourth, fifth studio out there that Warner Bros. has kind of contracted to say, hey, can you help us make a DC universe? We don't know any of that stuff, and all of that honestly excites me because, firstly, it's a lot more games. It's more games to cover for me, more games to cover for the channel, more games to play for entertainment purposes, um, and just a whole lot more possibilities in general that I'm very, very excited for. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think Superman will appear in the new Batman game? Do you think another member of the Justice League or just a random character, again, maybe the second game Warner Bros. Montreal is making, do you think any of them will appear? Let me know. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel podcast now. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, like I said, we're going to be having more Batman videos later in the week. We'll be talking about the film as well and lots of other videos non-Batman related as well. Okay, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.